can't find Whisper. Or can you? Huh. Anyway. What do you mean Whisper can find? Well, we'll get to that later. Anyways, you didn't set your team up so I can fight you, you stinking nerd. He's not a nerd. Am I a nerd if I'm a... Okay, so let's get to it. I have... Apparently this girl's called the official lady and she'll teach us how to fight. I'm not gonna lie, I like her little outfit and bow. Kinda looks like she has ears though, which is kinda weird. But yes, give me the ability to fight, please. That'd be greatly appreciated. Come on. There we go. So sweet. Now we have the Wi-Fi app. And also, she will give us something different if we beat her. So let's get our team ready. So Yokai Watch is kind of cool in the respect that it gives you sort of restrictions when building up your team. And yes, I know I can make a team. Okay. So basically, we need to pull some Yokai from our Yokai. And uh, I'm going to set you. So we can only use two A ranks, two S ranks, and the rest don't matter. So naturally, I'm going to use my strongest Yokai, Chibanyan. Yeah, he's got it going, dude. Why the heck not? And they all start at level 60, which is good, honestly. Why do not more games do this? It's kind of annoying when the franchises of games that don't do that. Let's put uh, this Ryuji dude in here. Or Ryu. I don't actually know his name. And should we use Strawbignon? No, we shouldn't use Strawbignon. I did use some Krenkakai off screen because I'm still trying to get this very specific yokai that I just can't seem to get. But yeah, I got, I got Strawbignon now. Cool beans. Let's just put the rest in. It honestly doesn't matter. This battle is so stinking easy. You're basically forced to win it. Yeah, let's put the socks in. And now that we got that going on, we should be able to challenge the last to a battle versus her yokai. And all right, so you got your team ready? Let's get to it then. On guard, Nate. And Bring it on, nerd! Okay, 6v6, get ready to go! 2 on 2, buckle your shoe, 60 seconds! I don't know if something that rhymes with that, so let's fight! Oh my gosh, let's fight, holy crud! Yeah! Yeah, let's battle! Oh my gosh, see, I just wanna get past this part, but there's a lot of- Okay, lady, lady, I know, I know I wanna fight you, and I- You really, you really need to lose. Okay, I shouldn't do that in my pop filter. <laughs> But yes, we have our two classic yokai versus her swarm of really weak yokai. And wow, the healers almost are already dead. Holy crud, how about that? So yeah, this is what a, a 6 v 6 battle usually looks like for the most part. We kind of just beat each other up and oh my gosh, that pancake yokai is simply adorable. Oh my gosh, and what the heck is that? It's like a chicken who's... Di or a chick who's... Di I don't... I don't understand what that's all about, but yeah, the, the pancake princess was destroyed, and what on earth is that monstrosity? It looks like a cow in a cup. What the heck? Alright, I'm gonna go for that last. I kinda wanna see if the enemies can use some Sultiman attacks, and it doesn't look like they are, and I did uninspire Jabanyan. Even though it probably really does not matter if I do this or not. Man, I'm spinning really badly, but from what I can gather from Inspirement, now there's like levels of Inspirement. Basically, the stronger a yokai is, the tougher it is to get rid of their experiment, which makes the mini games a little bit harder, which I find to be really cool, actually. I don't know if that is the case. It's just I have been inspirited by different yokai, and it seems like they have different effects based on what they do. But yeah, we won our battle. We were basically forced to win. How about that? Oh my gosh, you beat me! 